morning y'all um got this through the post the, this morning um as you will be able to see it's the cardo pack top it's the dual system so it's two connected units um they say when you first get it you've got to um link it to the internet uh to cardo community i believe it's called and register your details everything else and it just means that the firmware's um up to date um and everything works as it should do um i believe inside there's i've read looked at a couple of reviews on this and i believe inside there's not a lot of um instructions in it primarily because the updates happen online and therefore you then just download the relevant instructions manuals which that's fine if that's how they want to go about it so i just thought i'd show you um what it actually looks like so it's a kind of leatherette type box um it's really good quality um when you open it you'll be able to see in there you've got the two units um and they just pop out from there so it take those out it's like a little velour type place in there so they're out there and then the actual whole box opens up like that so there's a little piece on the bottom here um and then this pulls out so if we just move that to one side that's that unit and then this is the first time in here so i don't actually know what's in here so you've got manuals etc etc in there you've got speaker buds two sets obviously mic sticky mics in there as well you've got your boom mics connected to your unit that obviously clips onto your helmet obviously two of them and that looks like your headphones we've got two sets of those not quite sure what the hell that is anyway and then down the bottom you have yeah, so good, so. barrel load of accessories connection for sticky mounts Well, there's plug, another plug, and so that's USB C, I think it is micro. That's a micro USB rather than a mini USB. So two of them. So basically, you you get um, pretty much everything. Well, I see where that comes from. That is meant to click onto there. It's just come off. Um, you get pretty much everything you need. Um, so as you can see you've got, I'm going to just try and organise this a little bit better. You have pretty much got everything you would need to actually set it up um, and then off you go. Really good box, really good unit and everything, quite impressed with that. So. We'll go ahead, stick it into the helmets, see how they get on, and then um, go from there. Yeah, so I've just laid out all the stuff that's come out of the box um, in a wee bit more detail and just had a look at everything so I can actually try and figure out what it is. So you've got uh, sticky mics for the front of your helmet if it's full face. You've got um, these are sort of... Um, buds for the microphone different ones of those um, then up here you have the unit that will attach so a uh, clamping unit um, that will go into your helmet you've got two of them obviously and then if that doesn't work you've then got a 3m sticky pad so you can stick that on the side if necessary you get then got the two units themselves two charging plugs um, these are uh, I put one amp, so it's the same as a um, 
iPhone charger output um, rather than iPad output. Um, as I said, USB C's, which is kicking around all over the place nowadays. Um, these are the headphones um, with 3.5mm jack in them, so I presume I can keep the headphones that are in Max's helmet. Um, pop them in um, and some velcro pads obviously to stick these I presume into the helmet as it shows there that is an awesome picture anyway instructions and obviously box just wanted to detail what's actually in because I just reviewed that last video and it was a bit of hit and miss as to understand of what everything is anyway um, we'll now try and crack on um, I'm going to uh, plug them into the computer, update the firmware, and then put them into the helmets and see how they get on. I'll keep you updated. Hi everyone, uh, just a quick one. We just got back from up north, went to Inverness for the weekend, uh, stayed in a really nice hotel, and just wanted to give a quick update on the pack talks. Um, before we um, go through that, I just wanted to say a wee bit about why I actually bought them. Um, basically we're looking at the Senna 30Ks or the Pack Talks. Um, and the reason we went for the Pack Talk, uh, Scala, Rider, whatever they are, Pack Talks, um, was that they're waterproof rather than water resistant, which the Senna's are. Um, so we went for them. Basically I think between the two there's very little difference. Um, aside from that, they've both got Bluetooth capability, both got DMC dynamic mesh communication um, capabilities um, and that was it and it came, came down to the waterproofness so we went with them we bought them the other day then and, and obviously the start of this video is about unpacking them and it all looks quite good so a couple of things about it um, basically uh, took them up north um, setting them up so you get them out of the box I'll try and explain this a bit better. Get them out of the box, you have to then do a firmware update, so it brings it up to the newest firmware, which means that the actual instructions inside are useless because they don't relate to the firmware update, if that makes sense. The best way to do it is go online um, and download from the Scala page um, and, and, and do it that way, Cardo, Cardo page, I think it is, Cardo Community or whatever. So you have to sign up to Cardo Community, uh, which is fine, so it's on the f web page and you basically download the app and from that you can control them through the app and it's the Cardo Connect app rather than the one it says in the actual instruction manual because that one doesn't work, doesn't connect. Um, once you get that sorted out, it's fine, you then basically switch them on and off you go, but the difficulty in actually trying to pair them in DMC mode, I don't understand why it was so difficult. I would consider myself techy enough that can understand things like that and it took us, to Max and I, probably 40 minutes on Saturday morning to try and sort these out. It's easy to do for the, through the Bluetooth and the Bluetooth is fine but when it came to that show, um, uh, DMC mode uh, was just a nightmare but eventually it got working so basically what we did was paired them up, sorted them out and then off we went. Now, so one thing we really wanted them for was the um, audio audio management, I can't remember what it is, it's basically where you can layer audio across it, audio multitasking, that's what they call it. Now we thought we'd be able to do it in either mode, turns out I cannot find a way to do it in the Bluetooth mode on the Cardos, um, you can only do it in the DMC mode. Which is a bit of a pain, but it's fine. It works really well. You can talk and it just basically lowers the volume of the music or whatever you're listening to. You can talk and then once you stop talking, it then puts the volume back up. Works great. The only thing I would say is I don't understand why it doesn't work in the Bluetooth. Because the Senna range has a Senna 20S, which apparently has audio multitasking as well but they don't have DMC technology in the 20S, it's just Bluetooth. So they must have sorted it out to actually use it in Bluetooth. If anyone knows actually how to do audio multitasking in Bluetooth mode on Pack Talks, then please drop me a note, let me know. 
because um, I'd love to do it. Primarily because the battery life in the pack talks in DMC mode, listening to music and talking, is six hours. Now, they, they advertise that in Bluetooth mode it's 14 or something, 15, and certainly Revzilla and all that lot have said it reduces down to about eight. It doesn't. Mine packed up after six hours today, um, which is a bit disappointing. Um, hopefully they can get that sorted. But um, that's one reason why I'd like to be able to use it in the Bluetooth mode because it's just going from myself to my wife Maxine. Um, so we're just talking together just now um, and I'd like to know how to figure out that side of things. Um, aside from that, um, fantastic units, really good, decent range, not massive. You know, it's kind of line of sight and maybe a little bit more, um, maybe a kilometre, you know. It's not the one point whatever miles that they say, and that's riding a, around the highlands, um, down valleys and stuff like this, so it's not in town or things like that. Aside from that, pretty decent. Um, got them off Amazon online, so they were 400 quid or 350 quid or whatever for the two of them. Um, so it's a lot of cash, and to be honest... Um, I'd a quite light and easier setup um, and the ability to do audio multitasking and Bluetooth. But overall, pretty decent. Um, quite enjoyed them, so we're going to have to figure out a way to try and charge them for longer trips. But we'll, we'll see how we get on with that. Anyway, if uh, you've got any questions, comments, um, I know when I was doing research for these, um, it was really difficult to find out uh, actual information on what they could do. Uh, everyone was always talking about how brilliant the sound quality was or how it linked to this or how it linked to that. Um, I, I'm basically just looking for it to talk to my wife and listen to music. That was it. Um, either in Bluetooth or DMC. Um, so if you've got any questions, queries about stuff like that, give me a shout, drop me a note. Um, and if anyone knows actually how to do it in Bluetooth mode, how to audio multitask, let me know as well, that would be much appreciated. Anyway, till next time, see you soon, bye.